we're about to evaluate expressions containing decimals, so don't forget order of operations. Remember first to evaluate within grouping symbols, such as parentheses or brackets, or sometimes square root symbols or fraction bars. After that, evaluate exponential expressions. And then after that, multiplications or divisions in order from left to right. And then after that, additions or subtractions in order from left to right. Let's evaluate this expression. 3 tenths times 1 and 57 hundredths minus 6 tenths squared. Where do we begin? We begin within the grouping symbols, this set of brackets, and within there, notice we have subtraction or we have an exponential expression. This is higher in the order of operations, so we'll evaluate 6 tenths squared first. Now what does that mean? It means, let's just look at it off to the side, 6 tenths times 6 tenths. Well, I know 6 times 6 is 36, and then I need two decimal places in my product, so I know 6 tenths times 6 tenths is 36 hundredths. So let's start simplifying. This is 3 tenths times 1 and 57 hundredths minus 36 hundredths. Now where do we go next? We finish simplifying within this set of brackets. So we will subtract. So again, I'm just going to go off to the side. This is 1 and 57 hundredths minus 36 hundredths. 7 minus 6 is 1. 5 minus 3 is 2. Decimal point 1 minus 0 is 1. So I have 1 and 21 hundredths. So this is 3 tenths times 1 and 21 hundredths. What's left to do? What is left is multiplication. I'll let you multiply, but if you do so, you'll have a product of 363 thousands and that is this expression evaluated.